Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders make up the fastest growing community in Southern Nevada, but they're underrepresented in our region's history. Now this morning, I'm showing you how UNLV's Oral History Research Center is looking to change that. The mob, with its cast of colorful characters, often takes center stage when talking about Las Vegas history. A lot of it has been documented through the eyes of uh, the traditional male uh, white perspective. But Cecilia Winchell is part of a small but mighty team looking at the story of Las Vegas in a different way. Through the lens of the Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders who call the city home. So this project is an attempt at diversifying our historical records and making sure that we have a more well-rounded scope of how Las Vegas was built, how it runs today, and what the future is going to be like. Hours and hours of conversations cataloged, first in print, then later online, all part of the Las Vegas Asian American and Pacific Islander Oral History Project taking shape at UNLV. Before I joined the Oral History Project, I didn't know what oral histories were. Now, she's a pro, conducting more than 100 in-depth interviews during her time as a student. Photos and other documents accompany the stories she hears from those who have made their mark on Las Vegas. Like retired assistant fire chief Sharina Clevin, who at the time was the highest ranking Asian American female officer of any U.S. fire department. Winchell's team shared a snippet of Clevin's interview talking about her time in Las Vegas as a child. Went to three different schools and they turned us away. So the only one that is that the, the one that actually accepted us uh, was Roy Martin. And so my heart belongs there. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, and it wasn't because they have a teacher there that teaches English a second language. It was um, a teacher by the name of Sandra Young, and she spoke Japanese. Well, my parents, both my parents speak fluently Japanese as well. So they were able to converse. These pages, grounded in the AAPI experience, uncover different elements about the city's history, painting a more complete picture. My official time with this project will come to a close once I graduate because it is a student oral historian position and I will no longer be a student. However, I'm definitely planning on personally keeping up with the project and seeing uh, where seeing where it goes. You mentioned earlier that when you started this, you didn't know what oral history was. So now that you've been a part of this process, what do you consider an oral history to be? A fleeting bit of knowledge. Um, it's something that you capture in a moment and could be different the next day, but it is what it is in that moment, and it captures just that tiny piece of history that you can hold on to.